Secret funeral screenings of canceled Batgirl happening this week on Warner Brothers lot. This is the most hilarious story that you guys will see all day. So make sure you grab some popcorn, relax, and enjoy the ride as we get through all of the entertainment here because we have everything from actors who were involved in the movie having total meltdowns over this film getting completely axed to this story right here. So with that being said, let's get right into it. So insiders are saying that Batgirl will have a few few funeral screenings on the Warner Brothers lot before the canceled film is locked away in a vault. <laughs> <laughs> Multiple sources told The Hollywood Reporter that an unfinished cut of the DC superhero movie is currently being shown in secret to cast and crew members who worked on it. <laughs> Oh, man. I don't know why this is just so funny to me. The whole idea of this film being such a failure that they won't even show it to the public. But they'll be like, okay, yeah, well, you know, you guys, you worked on it. So we'll we'll let you guys see it once before we completely, you know, nuke it from orbit. <laughs> Bad Girl made headlines in early August when the studio announced it was being halted despite costing $90 million and already being in post-production. It's the costliest movie to ever get canned. Tax write-off, baby. Warner Brothers is opting to take a tax write-down for the movie, which means the studio won't be able to make a profit on it at all. This basically eliminates the possibility of another studio or an individual resurrecting Batgirl at a later date, which is what happened with Zack Snyder's Justice League. Studio execs did not give a specific reason for canceling Batgirl, but they did assure f fans that it had nothing to do with the caliber of acting from lead actress Leslie Grace. Just everything else about the movie is apparently terrible. So, which I'm sure it had a lot more to do with the actual, like, writing of the film and the fact that it was just, like, for everything that I've heard about it from people that have seen it, they've said that it's basically, like, an unwatchable film, which is pretty horrendous to say about it. But, you know, this is the funny thing about it is that we move on to this. The Batgirl star makes emotional plea to save scrapped superhero film. She's always been an underdog. So, let's get into this glorious meltdown. So, this is coming from Ivory, who uh, was... Uh, um, an actress in the Batgirl movie. <laughs> and she says this. Dear Mr. Zaslav. I just read an article at the Hollywood Reporter. About supposed funeral screenings of Batgirl. And the possibility afterwards that the film footage would be destroyed. If this is the case. As one of many who poured our hearts into the making of this movie. I ask that this measure be reconsidered. As much as I've tried my best to be strong these past few weeks, I'd find myself crying, for lack of a better term, from grief. And tonight was one of those nights. As much as Batgirl has been labeled a woke film, it simply came together because it came that way because came together that way because of writing that reflects the world we live in, which is <laughs> I hate to break it to you. Uh, that's, I mean, that's basically woke because that's exactly what's happening to every story that Hollywood is producing right now where they want to completely strip it of all the elements that make it that story great and they want to replace it with their agendas, their ideas of what the world should be and everything else. That is why fans continue to hate films like Batgirl. So just, you know clarification on that for me more than anything it is a father-daughter story which hits close to home as my dad passed a year ago which you know okay that's sad i'm not gonna mock that shortly before i booked this project and i was hoping it would resonate with other children around the world grown and not so grown who hold their fathers in the highest esteem and who could see batgirls the story of that special bond i love it how suddenly when the film is actually in jeopardy suddenly everyone is able to pull out all these different elements of the story that they 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 want to cling to as things that are important to them as far as the story goes in these movies but when it comes to the marketing of these movies when it comes to everything that we hear about the publicity of these movies it's all about the identity politics the woke nonsense the agenda so it's hilarious to me. So yes, the funeral screenings are happening for Batgirl this week, and I find that to be absolutely amazing. With all that being said, let me know what you think about this in the comments below. Leave a like, subscribe, I'd appreciate that a lot, and I'll talk to you all in another video very soon.